Okay, so check your answer. The first one is this, the second one is this. Let's quickly go on. Uh, second test, the, 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 the Q, what's the answer? Let me go around and copy your answer and you check. So the first one, Q is 46, 42, 40, 38, 31, 35. Part 2 answer. Part 2 answer is uh, 95, 89, 68, 83, 70, 56. Yeah? Which one is uh, different? Okay. Now, the third one, explain what does the matrix mean? Help me. Just want to hear the answer. Total of the both tests. Total of the both tests that right hand is. Of the both tests. Raj, Ethan, and Farhan. Two. Two. Just like that. Okay, can I have all your attention? Now, the interpret. Now, this, this explain part, uh, this number part, is always the most difficult part to do. Because every time I write, every time I don't get the mark. But my meaning the same one. Right? You always have this feeling. Not yet, uh, but you will have. So what I'm trying to tell you is this. Now let's look, take a look at this sentence and tell me what are you trying? What are you uh, what are you imagine? Now since I have one, two, three, how many numbers do you expect to see? Really? Total of the both tests. So total of the both tests means now this one means what? That means I will take two tests. I what? Total. Become what? One mark. Do you agree? So I repeat. Uh, total of the both tests means I take the two test mark, I add together. That's total of the two tests, right? Of this person, this person, this person. So how many, how many, how many numbers do you expect to see? Three. three. You expect to see three numbers. But over here is what number? Six. Six. So is this all wrong? Wrong. You understand now? So whatever you describe, when I am not a max person, I read, uh, I need to imagine there are six numbers. Then you get correct. Okay? Now, whatever you write, there's always a keyword you must write behind. That is called respectively. Even you don't know what is going on, you write respectively, at least we know you listen. Okay? Now, so you need to add this word. But then how do I phrase it in between so that I can get the, the, the one mark? Let me read, huh? The number in the matrix represents the total combined of together, respectively. Total combined. Again, total combined means one mark. Understand? So there's only one mark. So how else do you want to try? Uh, it represents the total number of marks of the three students obtained for the first and second test for the mathematics and mm, science. Very good. Very good. Now this is this this one. Uh, let, let's try. Uh. Total represents the, to the it represents the total mark for the three students obtained for the first and second test for max and science. Oh. Huh? It's long, but at, at least okay. Now this is better because I, at least I see three students, right? And then what? Uh, first and second test combined for two subjects, right? So I can imagine six numbers. You understand now? So if you write it this way, then you probably will get a mark. Okay? Anyone else want to share your answer? Fujin, what do you write? I'm waiting. Let me pause the video here. Okay, so so the idea here is you need to have 